Well, hello there, everyone. I'm Dana, your host on the Crystal Lean Network presented by Our Mother's Crystals. Welcome back, and thank you for your viewership and listenership as always. If you are new here, welcome. We are so honored to have you, and this is going to be a fun episode for you to dive into. If you want to take a look back at my story, get to know more about me, just go ahead and check out episode one. You can also learn about ways to work with crystal magic in episode two, and then just dive in from there on all the other episodes but welcome in today's episode I have a very dear friend of mine and special guest Monica Caparelli is on and she is my personal massage therapist and also one of the expanders on my spiritual um, journey and we are going to dive into body work and how that can be very expansive for us and how actual body work getting a massage or maybe getting some sound healing is actually a spiritual experience and it is a form of meditation and it is something that is i feel often overlooked in the spirituality realm and if you are loving the episodes go ahead and like and subscribe to us on YouTube, set those notifications, and hey, maybe just take a little bit of time out of your day and leave us a review um, and a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. That is a major, major platform and way for us to expand and get seen. You can also do that on Spotify as well. So however you enjoy partaking in everything we have to offer here, we would love it if you just take a moment of your time and just rate and review us, like, subscribe, do all the things. I love you all so much and enjoy Monica's bubbly, evervescent magnetic and just her energy is so fun like guys we laugh the entire time she is like her laugh is so contagious it's gonna make you want to laugh and we just have a lot of fun on this episode why still while still diving deep and educating you along the way i think you're gonna really love it so enjoy guys and i'll see you on the next one bye Welcome to the Crystalline Network, presented by Our Mother's Crystals. This is a safe place for all those who wonder and wander about crystals, spirituality, all things metaphysical. Well, hello there, and welcome back to the Crystalline Network, presented by Our Mother's Crystals. I'm Dana, your host, and as you can see in the hot seat today, we have a freaking goddess in the house. This is Miss Monica, and she is not only a very dear friend of mine, she is also my massage therapist, and... I have her on today to talk about not only just, you know, spiritual awakenings and spirituality, but how getting body work done and massage can actually be a, a spiritual experience and how it's, for sure. yeah, it's very beneficial to us, not only for the body, but for the soul yes. as well. And Monica, I'm just going to dive in and tell everyone what you do because you, um, like all of our guests are multifaceted. You kind of have your hands in a little bit of everything. And you are, of course, a massage therapist. Mm -hmm. You are a sound healer, which I do want to touch on because I have experienced that sound healing. Yeah, we did do that. Yeah. Yeah, with you. And it was a moving spiritual experience for me. Um, you're also a certified yoga teacher, though mm -hmm. you don't necessarily teach. Not right now. Yeah, yeah you did it for yourself, yeah. and I think that's beautiful. Um, you're also a Reiki practitioner, yes. guys. What if, what do I always say? Every single guest I've had on, we find each other. <laughs> seriously, and all of us are Reiki practitioners. Like mm -hmm. Reiki was part of the spiritual awakening. Oh yeah, you know, within us, and I find that so beautiful. And then you're also the owner of. Oh, yeah. Me Time 1111, <laughs> which is one of my favorite metaphysical gift shops to shop from and supporting a small local business as well. So everyone, let's welcome Monica to the podcast and the YouTube. If you're watching, um, you're going to be able to see my friends are effing gorgeous. <laughs> I have the most beautiful crew of people on my side, and I feel so blessed. Uh, Monica, thank you for being here, and welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So I want to get into, um, first, spirituality and your own personal awakening, because you have a, a very fun story about this, and I always like to touch on this because I feel like when someone shares their story, it lets someone listening or watching know that they're not alone. And that what they have experienced in their life 
um, maybe they can make a correlation to it and feel, oh my God, I'm going through that yeah. too. So I, I find this so funny. You said your father was a Catholic altar boy. He was. <laughs> your mom is Baptist. You were, but, but with that being said, you were raised wide open yes. and very supported, um, by your parents, which I just think is so beautiful It is, and that you found Buddhism through yoga. Mm -hmm. Can you touch on that? And just like how all that transpired into yeah. what you do today with your massage therapy and everything. For sure. Um, so there were five of us growing up, five kids. I didn't know that. Um, I, yeah. I didn't, okay. Yeah. In a household. And, you know, both of our parents had pretty strict backgrounds and they wanted us to have something different. Oh, I so, love that. you know, they told, there's no wrong road to this. You'll find yes. yours yes. and whichever one it is, like, we'll get you there. So oh, how beautiful. Yes. They were so great with oh, all of my it. Gosh. Um, and you know, you dabble in all kinds of things. Your friends are going here. Your friends are doing this church or this camp and you try a little bit of everything. Yes. Um, and I had always been. I can remember my dad telling me I should have been born in, like, the 60s or the 70s. I totally see that. He was like, you should have been a hippie. Like, you missed your time, kid. I'm so sorry. Okay. So, <laughs> no, I have to stop here real fast because just in my soul, I feel the same way. Yeah. Like, I feel like I would have... And maybe I did. We were like, probably here. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And maybe we did live a life then um, in the 60s and 70s. But I feel like that... That was my energy. That was my yes. vibe. So I can totally. It's still with us for sure. Yeah. I can so relate to that. That's so cute. So that's what kind of took me into like yoga and meditation mm. and like just yeah. like that, that was the route I went. Um, so you got into yoga first. And yeah. Then it, it just... And it was the, the normal at the Y or at Gold's Gym yeah. or like that. Yeah. And you get a little bit of spirituality in there. They sprinkle it, but they don't dive. Right. Um, it's up and, to you to start diving. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where it began for me, for Was, sure. And so you found um, Buddhism mm -hmm. through yoga. Yes. And I've always said, like, if there's one, um, I hate to say organized religion, mm -hmm. but if there's one religion that I would probably follow, like, completely, um, I think Buddhism yeah. is the one that really would call to me and speak to me and, and just feels good to me. Yeah. What did you find in Buddhism that was... Um, the unjudging, the unattachment, mm, yes. the like, the the acceptance of all is yeah. what's perfect for me. None, of, there's no right or wrong. There just kind of is, yeah. you know. Yeah. If you if your path is is this one, then that's for you. Like, yeah. and there's no, it's just not wrong. And there's no judgment. That's you know, from, it's the beauty to me. Yeah, yeah. And um, something you had said previously to me, which really resonated with me, and I think will with the community as well, is that you can find the beauty in all of these religions or all yes. of these spiritualities, and they're all very much rooted in the same thing. Yeah. They're just presented in a different yes. way over time. Yeah, we're all going the same place. We're just taking a different vehicle to get there. Oh, I That's, love that. I think, that's what seems right to me. Yeah. yeah. And so do you feel like you sprinkle in a little bit of each oh, like, for modality sure. or each way of thinking yes. into like your own personal? Don't you think we pick the tools up as we go like in a video game? Like you just pick the yeah. ones and you just take them with you. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I think that is so beautiful. And I think it's a good testament to, you know, you don't necessarily have to be so rigid no. with your spirituality. You don't have to be so rigid when it comes to following the rules with um, maybe, say, a particular religion. Mm -hmm. You can cherry pick the things that you love yes. and the things that feel good to you and incorporate those into your life for your own well-being. Mm -hmm. And I think you're a beautiful example yeah. of that just playing yeah. out. And um, so wonderful that you had very supportive parents, yes. that, you know, Thank you. <laughs> yes, allowing you to do so. Um, so I definitely want to talk about massage, baby. Yes. So guys, Monica, I thought about this and I don't know the answer. How long do, have we known each other? It's been a while. I was wondering that this morning. Like, That's I funny. I couldn't remember if we met. I know we met athletically. It was either at the gym or at Next Level. Like We met at the gym. Okay. I'm pretty sure. And then maybe sure. we talked about like Next Level. And yes. We met up there again and we were yes. like, okay, that's it. We should be friends. Like I, <laughs> Totally. And I feel like I have so much um, gratitude for the gym because I've met so many wonderful yes. people there. So that's how we first met. I, I mean, it's it's been years now yeah. that we've known each other. And, it's um, been a long time. I, I, you know. Know, obviously there was an instant connection. I was like, this is my people. This is my people right here, y'all. Um, so 
when we met and then I found out you were a massage therapist. So I was like, oh yes, because I love getting a massage. And I do think that there is more to just getting something physically done and feeling good afterwards. It, it goes deeper than that. So, much. so let's talk. How long have you been a massage therapist, by the um, way? I'm, this is my 16th year. Oh practice. my God. It's been a long, I feel old. <laughs> Honey, it's been a long time. Yeah, I am moving into my 40s. I, yeah, I can totally like, oh, relate God. to that. <laughs> but but at the same time, I'm like, this is like been the most magical like time oh, of my yeah. life too. Like, the, I don't want to do anything else. Yeah. So expanding and like just growing, you know, as a human and a soul. So Monica, with massage, let's first talk about like the physical benefits of actually yeah. having body work done and yeah. obviously you've been doing this for so long you can really have the 2020 hindsight of helping so many individuals and then seeing them progress you know in doing body work on yeah. them what are the physical actual benefits of mm -hmm. having this done so of course the first thing that comes to mind with massage is a muscle strain or yeah. soreness or an injury and that's great it's it's usually what brings people to you in, yes. in the beginning um, but as you start to help them in that way, they realize that you can help them in other ways. So it, it definitely, it kind of leads them into understanding what massage does. And yeah. I have a few people who have asked like, why do I feel this way when I leave? Why do I feel like a different person when I'm finished? Totally. I, I can say that every time <laughs> I, I get off the table, I feel that way. And I don't, I'm not discrediting like me as a person or what I do, but it's, your body is doing this. Like mm. it's, you're increasing your oxytocin, you're increasing your dopamine, your serotonin. Like, you, yes, yes, yes. These please. things, all of the good things are happening for you right now. I didn't realize that. Yes. Massage does that. Oh my so gosh. sure. I'm magic, but like your body is magic. Yeah. Like your body's doing a lot of it. And you're like the vessel to help assist the yes. body with releasing these hormones and these type of yes. things to make us actually feel physically better. And I've learned, kind of in, within the last few years, I've come to look, I love the injury work, I love doing those things, Yeah. but I've come to find out that I get to, like, help these people reach a state that they don't necessarily do normally. I just got chills. So if you're not meditating, if you're not someone who's taking that time, massage is meditation. You might not oh look at it my God. like that, but massage is meditation. I'm, you're you're meditating. I honestly never thought like I'm having a moment for an hour or 90 minutes or however like you were yes. meditating oh my gosh I, I'm now seeing that correlation because I can attest that when I've been with Monica on the table which this is a nice reminder for me I need to schedule with you it's been way too long <laughs> seriously um that I've had these experiences where I either feel like I'm out of body in a good way. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I am a new person after I get off the table. I feel the sensation of well-being and that I'm whole and that I'm one and that like it's almost like the world is made of rainbows and unicorns yes. and that, and everything feels so good and you know and and it's so okay it's making sense now that this is a physical actual yes. reaction happening in the body it's physical it's chemical it's emotional it's spiritual it's all of the things yes. like they're all happening so i want to talk about like the spiritual and the emotional side mm -hmm. of getting body work done or yes. or a massage because i've had and this is no joke guys i've had a spiritual experience with monica on the table and at the time I guess I, I I didn't know how to put words into it mm -hmm. and I can look back to Monica um, when I first started seeing you for massage and I'm really grateful for you because you were definitely an expander for me on my spiritual journey we started talking more about crystals we started Cards. yeah we yeah about everything yeah you really got me inspired to go deeper into my own spirituality so I have much gratitude and thanks for you for doing that like seriously this is one of the major expanders in my spiritual journey and I that's why I have her on because she's going to be that way for you too but talking about massage therapy being spiritual when I had the sound healing and the massage done with you at the same it's time a great double oh my god I cried <laughs> I cried like I had a release like an emotional release on the table in a good way. Mm -hmm. You know, it was definitely needed and things happened like spirituality. Like mm -hmm. I, the 
it's like something was there with us and I could feel it. And can you expand on that? And like, sure. how is body work spiritual? Like how's mm-hmm. it good for our emotional and energetic body? So we talk about Reiki. We know yes. how powerful Reiki is. Yes. Um, and I'm a true believer that you can't do massage without doing Reiki. Oh, okay. Yes. You, I mean, you are connected to this person for this amount of time. Totally. You are exchanging energies. Like it's for sure. It's happening. And that's why I think it's really important to go to a massage therapist that you trust because you mm-hmm. are Literally exchanging energy. Yes, so they with need this to be person. in the right space before they're exchanging. With yes, you as well. and and so I have always felt so comfortable with you. But yeah, but keep going. Yeah, yes. it's it's super important. Um, but with the sound healing, of course, you got the massage, which brings you into that zone, and then you go into sound healing. So you're already ready. Yes, you know, you're ready open. to receive. Yeah, so you're open, you're accepting, you're ready, and the sound healing. I kind of tend to tune mine to each chakra differently. So, like, we'll do each chakra one at a time. Yeah. And then I'll go through once they feel balanced and start to, like, vibe them and mix them together. Oh, my God. I love that part. It's so fun. fun. (laughs) And it's fun to, like, feel which ones are ready. You know, like, who's ready? Okay, we can do these two. So, it's it's a great feeling. And it's really led by you all. Like, you know, you kind of feel what you all need. Um, But if something's blocked, if something's stagnant... If something's been moving too quickly, you've been in that doing mode for too long, you know, we can slow that down and that will give you that emotional like, oh my God, I've needed this. Yeah. And and I didn't know I needed this. And you can literally. And thank you. Like, that's what happened. And and that's like what I have experienced with you. It's like, I didn't know how much I needed that until I I got Mm -hmm. it. And so with doing just massage, you can actually, and and with Reiki, of course, because you are delivering some Reiki when you are, Mm -hmm. you know, in the process of massage you can actually start to rebalance the energy centers and sure. um, like you said, any blockages. So how, how could that be beneficial for the, I guess the recipient? Yeah. I mean, obviously you could have those awakening moments, those emotional, like mm-hmm. letting go moments, but it can also help physically. Yeah. There are times, um, you know, certain, it's funny, certain, blockages can manifest physically. So you can have a lot of like neck pain or you can, I've had people who have gotten like a lot of strep yeah. and they're, they're not speaking their truth. Their throat, it's their throat chakra. Oh There's certain, it, it gives me chills every time. But if you just can ask the right questions, like sometimes you can get, oh you can get gosh. there or knee pain. A lot of times knee pain is like, you're not moving forward from something. Oh yeah. It's holding right, you back. Right. So, okay. you know, someone's coming with chronic knee pain and you can kind of slowly ease into that conversation of like, is there anything else going on? Yeah. You know, like, and, and I know you, we're and here you, for your knee, but can we talk about life? Like <laughs> totally. And and it's like you are a magician at picking up on that. And I think that comes, you know, over time with mm-hmm. your spirituality, you working sure. in your spiritual practices. Just and being then, open to that, yeah. Totally. And you're able it's almost like you're a medium to a certain extent or a psychic in that way, like a body medium yeah. or a psychic. And we all have it. Totally. We just we have, have to be aware of it and mm-hmm. tap into it. Um I think it was important what you said is that when we have like these physical ailments or manifestations, Mm -hmm. that is coming from something else. A lot of times it is. Yeah, and it's usually emotional or maybe a chakra being out of balance. And um, do you feel that what you do as far as body work, massage therapy, and the sound healing can help too? Yes, even unknowingly, even to the yeah. even to the clients who are type A, do, 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 yeah. they're not in that world yet. It's I'm still like, mm-hmm. <laughs> we go work on this, You're, baby. That's gonna help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to just ask personally, real fast, because I typically get like neck pain. Mm-hmm. What would that be, like, what would you feel that that is manifesting? Is it stress or just... <laughs> it could it could be stress. It yeah. could be that constant going. Oh, um, okay. Okay. You know, sometimes a, an, just an overfilled plate. Like, most that's of the me. time what I'll see with, especially in women, um, that's yeah. one of my niches, but especially in women, sh- your shoulders just start to creep up. Yeah, like the I'm more, constantly the more like that you're carrying, yeah, I'm like, we got to get your shoulders out of your ears. Like oh. we've just got, oh. I just want to just, oh like, my God. we've got to do this. So like carrying the weight of the world up here. Oh, okay. Aha moment uh-huh. here. Okay. There it is. So that makes sense. So people can go to a practitioner like you and help to release some of that, that they may have been carrying around sure. and you know, get the bat like it's almost like a reset. I would say for the body, yes. oh, it, like the power up, power down thing. Like it's real. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's real in you too, not just like your phone when it's messed up. Like and you're the same. 
Yeah, totally. Yeah, I love that. It's the same thing. Unplug your computer. Can you just unplug you as well? Yeah. Like, and, just, you can do this. And those are the moments that I cherish with you because that is like an unplug moment <laughs> yes, for me. That's, it's so easy, but we might get so hard. Yeah. So would you recommend like people that, um, that are having these like physical ailments that show up as pain or, yeah. or whatever, um, but maybe also feeling a little emotionally unbalanced, um, maybe even suffering from anxiety, depression. Would this, would massage or body work be a good um, thing for them to try at the very Absolutely. least? Um, and that goes back to the chemical compound. Oh, of it. yeah. So yeah. It, it is like proven. There are studies that are proven that it helps with anxiety and depression because of that serotonin, dopamine, oh, right. oxytocin. Right. So it, it's not even a question. It helps. Like, it's going to help. I love that. Yeah. And I know that you are, you kind of already touched on this already, but I know that you're really big on um, your niche being the self-care for women. Yes. And can you talk about how, maybe just expand on that. And I do believe massage is part of self-care. I, yes, I, I 100% like everyone go out and get a massage. Yes. And it's health care. It's self care. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can you expand on that? Like self care for women? Because I think so often women do, do, do for others. Mm -hmm. You know, we and gotta, we're praised for it. Totally. We pro thank you for praising us for it. Thank and you. We're, we're programmed. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> like, seriously, we're programmed to like be that way. Of mm -hmm. course, we're just, I think, by. By nature, nature we're, we're nurturers, mm -hmm. right? We do want to take care. For sure. But I think we over-nurture and we forget about ourselves mm -hmm. along the way. And then that's when things start to manifest yes. physically. So you're a big proponent for self-care for women. Yes. Can you just expand on that just uh, a little bit? Because yeah. I think this is a beautiful part of you. Um, Definitely. And it's something I learned in myself. Like I had to hit that bottom moment of like... Oh. Ooh, wait a minute. Do tell. When when is the last time that I sat still? When's the last time that I got a massage? When's the last time you know you hit those moments and it's a it's a roller coaster. We all yeah. we all do it. Yeah. Nobody's a hundred percent great at self care all the time. No. no. No one. If they say they are, they're totally full of shit. But <laughs> <laughs> that's it. you lying. You lie, but, baby. You lie. But, <laughs> but you know, we're all on that wave. But yeah. sometimes you hit that dip and you're like, no, 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 no. And then I thought, how many people are doing this? Like, how many people are yeah. at the bottom of this and not even realizing so you that they're in that dip? And, oh, my God, here's what I need to do to get out of so it. So did you, do you have, like, a moment in time when that happened for you where, where um, it was like, oh, my God, an aha moment where, like. Where oh. It was an I have to do this. It wasn't okay. a. I need to do this better for me. It was a I have to do this. Yeah. Time. Were you just working, like. My so dad much. had passed away. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It was. It was probably the most wild time of. Um, you were around. I remember. My dad passed. Yeah. We lost our home. I remember. I yeah. lost my. Like I switched my business. Yeah. Everything hit at once, and it was that moment of like I can sink into this well, or I can figure out how to get the hell out of here. Yeah. Right. And right. once I realized what brought me out, I was like, No, we all need this. We all need this. Okay. So I I want to touch on that because I remember that being a very pivotal time in your mm -hmm. life. Um, and I know that so many in our community have those times in their life where it's almost like you feel like universe, if you give me anything else, I don't know if I can handle mm -hmm. anything else. And I'm it, trying to pass your test here. Yeah. It, <laughs> right. Trying. Right. And yeah. it's like, come on, give me a break. So mm -hmm. when you're feeling like the world is almost crumbling. Yes. Did you say like to yourself, I've got to take care of me or else I'm not going to be able to move forward. Yeah. Here. It was the, I, I can, I have to save me. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Nobody's going to come in here and make me meditate. Nobody's going right. to come in here and make me take this hour bath that I need to take an Epsom salt. You know, like yeah. nobody's going to make me do, I have to do that. That's me. What a huge oh realization. God, <laughs> yeah. And now because you're, you, you do practice self care, which includes massage and body yeah. work and sound healing you are now more capable of taking care of your clients. Yes. Your your daughter, you know, I mean, you're just your family, you yes. know, like your friends and, and, and anybody and everybody mm -hmm. in your life that you come into contact with. So your tank has to be full before it starts to spill over for someone else. I 100% so, yeah. agree. Mm -hmm. And so taking these stolen moments, I think you called it that. Yes, I and I freaking <laughs> love that. I was like, oh my gosh. Because like, they feel that way. Yeah. Like, yeah. You still have mom guilt. You still have like this 
feeling of I shouldn't be doing this. Can you speak on mom guilt? Oh my god, it's so big. So, to, so big. okay, so I it I'm, lives right here. It's so, big. <laughs> <laughs> so I am not a mom of a physical child. I have fur babies, oh, yeah, but obviously, but still there. um, um, obviously we have a lot in the community that are mothers and. I have no doubt experienced mm-hmm. mom guilt. Can you tell us what that is, what that feels like? It's, I think it's just that feeling of I should be doing something else. That nagging feeling of mm. there are dishes in the sink and I'm in a bubble bath. Oh, and you just have that yeah. moment of like, is this the right, did I do the right thing? Oh, that's you, huge. You did. Because the dishes aren't going anywhere. Yeah. And now you can get out of that tub and you can do the dishes with the music on and enjoy it instead of sitting there and hating the fact that you're doing these damn dishes. <laughs> Man, and if that is not life changing right there, because truly everything is a mindset. Yes, they're still here. Just do them differently. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> Girl, yes, dropping some knowledge (laughs) bombs over here today. Like that, I needed to hear that. Because so often I get wrapped up in everything I'm doing, everything I'm doing. And it's like part of the doing is the journey. Yes. And if we're not here loving the journey, what is the freaking point? And when you can pivot that mindset from, I don't really want to do this. Uh-huh. I'm oh my god. I had that moment yesterday when I we went to the, have it. <laughs> I went to the grocery. I didn't want to go to the grocery. Yeah. But instead, when I got to the grocery, I pivot my mindset and I'm like, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm yeah. gonna have fun. I, you know, I'm gonna yes. make it a good experience. And so when you take those stolen moments for yourself, yes, like meditation, like a bubble bath, like getting body work done, mm-hmm. like getting sound healing done, you are then mentally equipped to pivot that mindset yes, and change your entire life. It's like just putting a filter on that thing. You know, like oh, you see it differently. It's yes. like, okay, it's just dishes. It's going to take me 10 minutes. I'm good. Yeah. I think this is important because when we do these, I don't want to say small things because stolen moments are big things they to are me. Big things, but, but when they we, can be done small. Yeah. They, right. And when the, we do these things, they add up to the bigger moments in life mm-hmm. That make life enriched and enjoyable. Yes. And we, it, it's a form of loving yourself. It is. And as women and, and doing self-care for women, do you feel we need to do that more? Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Guilty. Yeah. Well. Guilty. Yeah. You've, but see, here's the thing. You've lived it. Well, and I see it. So once you okay. see it, okay. now we're here. Like, Okay. So because you, I see it now, I can work on that. Then that, that's where we want to be. Do you see this in a lot of your clients too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you preach to them, you got to do this more? I do. And then I'm like, <laughs> as they leave, I'm like, so do you. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, it's almost a reminder to yourself yes. to like practice what you We're preach. We're all here to like keep each other going. Like that's, oh. we need humans. Humans need humans. We, we, we do. And I'm, I love the quote. I've said it before on here, but I love the quote from Ram Dass. We are all just walking yes. each other home. That's one of my favorites. Yes, that is truly the part of this life. We are all here. I could cry. <laughs> we are all here to help each other expand and walk each other to mm-hmm. the ultimate home. Yes. And I am so happy you're part of walking yes. me home. Like you're part of that with me. And I think what you do is so beautiful. Like you are so different from other massage therapists that I've been to. Cause I've been to a lot, girl. I've been to a lot. We are a plenty. You are. But what, what I, I, I enjoy about it is that everyone brings their own seasoning, you know, yes. to the table. Right. Yes. I can t- like say like whenever I've had it done with you, one, I feel freaking amazing afterwards um two I feel like I am in I am expressing myself in my highest form does that make sense it does like when I get off the table from you and we're done and I'm getting in the car I'm like I am a fucking bad bitch today like you are I'm standing (laughs) it's like I'm standing in my highest light highest power because you helped me you assisted me to get there by working mm-hmm. on the body, um, really Just shedding some of these things that you don't Ooh. need to be Ooh. carrying. You know what I'm Ooh, saying? Is that what's yeah. going on? I'm shedding for sure. Okay. For sure. Like, don't you think as I tell people to come in once a month, Yeah. think about how many yeah. times in a month 
you're putting on something that's probably not yours. Like how many times? Oh yeah. A lot. I didn't even think about that, Monica. Yeah. And the meditation or yoga or whatever you choose to do, massage can help. You need to let that and, go. And I think it's important that we all need help. Like, no one's going to get through this, oh, yeah. you know, alone. I mean, of course, you always start with you and you do things on your, your own. But we all need our people to help us along the way to raise our vibration. Yes. To assist with us healing our body, mind, and our soul to get us mm-hmm. on that next level. Yes. And that's what I get from you. Yeah. So I can go to other massage therapists. And, of course, I feel good afterwards. But I don't feel that way after I... Um, have a session with them. Like, I don't, I don't want to say I don't feel like I'm in my highest expression, but it feels different mm-hmm. with you. And I think because you're able to work on the body in a way where it's not just the touching, it's not just going through the motions. Yes. You actually care about the individual and you actually are delivering your Reiki mm-hmm. to the person. I think that makes all the difference. It makes me happy that people can feel that. Yeah. Because... Yeah. I work really hard to try to be a safe space for people. And you are. You are such a safe space. There are days when I come home and I've had two clients cry today. You know, and I've had, and it's like, it's, it's all beautiful. Whether we laugh together, whether we cry together, whatever it is, that's what we needed today. Yes. I'm glad we had it. It And I'm glad that this room did that for you. Like, it makes me so happy. Yeah. But I think making sure that you have that open space, that safe space for these people, we need that. Yeah. We need it. Um, and I think that makes a difference. It, and then just setting that mindset before a client gets there. You need to get into that space for them. When they leave, I thank the universe for my clients Aww. every day. Like, Full of gratitude yeah. always. So for anyone that's thinking about, like, um, maybe they've actually never got body work done before. Mm-hmm. And it's... It like, can be intimidating. <laughs> yeah, I think it can. And that's what I want to um, kind of release here is mm-hmm. that... Um, when you go see anyone, of course, I encourage you to see Monica if you're local here in the Louisville area in the Southern Indiana area. Um, but if someone is thinking about now, oh, I kind of want to try this, but, um, I'm not sure about it. What can be, what can they expect during just a massage? Um, so usually I'll tell people for your first one to make it more, comfortable for you yeah I tend to say let's ease into it so let's start with a 30 minute session okay okay and you're gonna want to get here 15 minutes early I want to talk like I want to vibe yeah I want to see what you need from me today and I love that about you and every day is different like yeah you may come in on a Monday and you're like my back is messed up I did deadlifts like this is what we need and you might come in the next week and you're like my stress yes right stress so you have to you have to gauge what we're doing in each session. It's different and I every think that's, time. That's beautiful because you do take the time to really get to know the client and like this is what you're experiencing right now. Okay, here's what I can offer yeah. to assist in that. When like I've just gone to like other places that they're it's just like in and out, in yeah. and out, in and out. Like it's almost like your cattle being. I herded. call that the Walmart. <laughs> Yes, honey. I'm sorry. No, Walmart, don't be sorry massage. because it is. And but you're still doing some good things. This is why it's important. You, are, I'm not. Yes, you're still I, doing good things. Yeah, I don't want to discredit. They're just different things. It's different. Yeah. yeah, and it just feels more personal and almost customized mm-hmm. to whatever I need. Yeah. You know, from you. Yeah, that it's day. how can you leave here better? That's my, yeah. That's what I'm here for. And so there is hand placing during a massage, mm-hmm. obviously. And I think it's important to find someone that makes you comfortable. Yes. And I can, I, I'm just going to throw it out there. If you guys are here local, this is <laughs> your girl. This is the goddess. This is the yeah, one to go see. But, I'm, I'm serious. But yeah, starting with a, so- a shorter session is going to okay. be helpful because you're okay. not laying there nervous for yeah, right. an hour. And once you get the 30 minutes and you're like, that was a tease. I'm going to need an hour. Oh, 30 minutes ain't nothing, and baby. Then when, when once you get the hour, you're like, can I get a 90 minute? Oh my God. Like, that's so- how it works. And I watch it happen every time. And I'm like, I got you. That yes. is so me y'all because I'm like, I'm an hour and a half in and I'm like, didn't we just start? Yeah. Like, can we make this two Massage hours? minutes are different. Dude, it is a whole, <laughs> like, okay. I always say time doesn't exist, but literally time stands still during a massage. It does. Yeah. It does for us too though. Cause we'll look at the clock and be like, oh my God. Oh, that's so, yeah. but, but you know why? I think that is because you're so in the moment. Mm -hmm. That's part of being in the present moment. There is no time. There is no space. You are actually 
Oh, I just got chills. <laughs> you are being so present with what is happening that nothing else yeah. is going on. That's and true. it's almost like you're becoming more one with yourself. And if mm-hmm. that ain't spiritual, honey, if that's not... If gonna, that's not meditation, I don't know yeah, what it is. And if that's not yeah. going to maybe even lead to spiritual awakenings. Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not joking. I have had some awakenings on your table before. <laughs> I love it. No, I, I have. And that's why I wanted to have you on because I'm a big proponent of having this... In your spirituality practice. Yeah, in your toolbox. In your toolbox. Put it in your toolbox. Yeah, I mean, we have cards, we have crystals, Mm -hmm. we have meditation, we have yoga. But so often, I don't think massage is... Put into that box. Yeah, it's yeah. not put into that conversation. It's put into the injury box a lot, like, in, yes. in people's brains. But and it doesn't have to stay there. And I think it's put into, like, I only get it when I feel like I need yes. it. Instead, instead of it being part of your practice of preventative medicine. Yeah. yeah. It, it can be preventative as well. So I'm, I'm just huge on it. I, I definitely want to talk about this because, um, you know, we're all about the crystals here, baby. Yes. I know you love crystals. I, do. I got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Welcome to, welcome My to deal. the club. <laughs> welcome to the club, baby. That's right. So <laughs> with crystals, um, I always like to ask people, how did they incorporate their crystals just into their like everyday life. Yeah. Um, I know you use them in your practice oh, as yeah. well, but how do you just use crystals? How does Monica use crystals? Oh girl. Oh girl. <laughs> um, no. so Let me count the ways. Literally. Um, love them in my bra. Love that. Yes. Me. Girl. Yes, honey. Um, actually dated somebody who still remembers one falling out of my bra on a date. Like I'll just get random messages. He's like, does that still happen? <laughs> It's going to happen till I die. Like, it's going to okay, continue can, to happen. Can I just ask, were, were you having a moment and it just like flew out during that moment? It hit the floor. Oh my God. And it was like, what's that? And I was like, <laughs> literally, it's probably how I got here. But <laughs> like, it's fine. Just let it happen. I love this so much. Yeah, it's great. It's one of my favorites. If crystals don't help break the ice a little bit, I don't know okay. what will. <laughs> But um, obviously you love um, carrying them with you. Yes. Right? I love having them on my person in my car. I have yeah, like safe too. travels. Yeah. Um, I'm really big on feng shui. I'm a feng shui nerd. Oh my nerd. God. This is, oh my God. Like if you want a Bagua map girl, call me. I got you. Wait. Now. That's Bagua. <laughs> wait. Such a dork. <laughs> no, I love that. Okay. Feng shui keeps they, coming up. They come together. Crystals and feng shui are literally like... This is no coincidence. Sisters. So <laughs> we're like the third person to be talking about feng shui. What? It keeps coming up. So I can you expand it's on that a little bit? Yeah. Like, so feng shui is talking about chi, which is energy. Mm-hmm. You know, we have it in our bodies. We have it. It's It, it just is. It is. Um, but it's also in spaces. So... It, you can reset how the chi moves in a space yes. to help with abundance, to help with health, to yeah. help with travel, to help with... I mean, it is Love or, mind-blowing. So you are incorporating... And, and I do this too. I feel like your knowledge is probably a bit more expanded than mine on this. But you're incorporating crystals oh, yeah. into the feng shui of the home. Oh, yeah. Can you give me just... Give me just yeah. one, one feng shui tip with crystals. So... Um, I don't know. Everybody's looking for wealth and prosperity, right? Let's, yeah, let's focus that, there. Um, come on. It's one of my favorite things to talk about too. It, it's yeah. fun. It's yeah. fun to work with crystals. That or way. abundance, just general abundance. But yeah. if you look at your Bagua map, there's a corner for wealth, abundance, prosperity. Now you can map your whole house. Okay. And then you can also do a smaller map. So oh, okay. say, you know, you have your meditation space here. You can do a, a Bagua of just this space. Oh. Okay. And set awesome. area, you know, for each space. I did not know that. Okay. So if cool. you are doing a prosperity altar, mm-hmm. which, you know, I have 48 altars. So your prosperity <laughs> altar. I, I, I honestly have, everywhere. I have three of them <laughs> yeah, in I'm the like, house. Yeah. But so the prosperity one is in the prosperity corner of my home. Okay. And that's where I'm putting those crystals. That's where oh, I'm putting, to you know. amplify that yes. energy. Okay. So it's, it's all about placement. Um, and then it's about movement of energy. So sometimes stairs can create stagnant energy you know it's flowing down the stairs and it's yes. stopping you have to help it come around yes it's so fun oh it my god so, fun. so do you feel like you're well versed in this so there i took a class with like this feng shui human and a couple of years ago 
And so I think I know a little bit, and I'm a nerd, so I've read some books. Yes, right. But I always have to go back and look at the books because it doesn't, like, well, it's, the, it's so much that I have to reference. It is a lot, and that's what it's been for me. It's been kind mm. of overwhelming, so I'm having to take some Little baby. chunks at a time. Yeah, and the reason I asked that was because I was like, girl, if you want to come back on and talk about some feng shui. We can totally do that. Okay. I'm in. Okay, yeah. so... I'm in. Stay tuned. We are going to have... Feng Day. Yes. I'm excited about that. It keeps coming up for a reason. Yeah. And I think um, not only for me, but also for the collective because it mm. keeps coming up with the community too. Yeah. And it's helpful for every Anybody can do this. It's not a... Yeah. yeah. Right. I feel like it's something we need to just touch mm. on and maybe dive a little bit deeper for sure. into. So how else do you like to use your I love crystals? A grid. I love me a good grid moment. Baby. Can mm. we talk about some crystal I love grids? me a grid. I love me a grid with a card. A grid and a card. So okay. Do your thing. Do you like, do, do things you like are happening. Tarot card? Um, tarot or oracle. Okay. Like, okay. sometimes I like an oracle better with a grid because it's a little more open-ended. I, I love that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I agree. But either one. I'm a bit, you know I love my grids, girl. I'm huge on crystal gridding, so, um, we share that in common. And I also like to walk into my house and see something that makes me happy. Yes. Like, immediately. Because home is your safe space. Yes. Um, should be your safe space. And I... So I'm really big at having like a statement piece right when I come in the door. I love you. I love you for that. Yeah. So uh, you like having them around, obviously, just in yeah. the dwelling yeah. and what have you. How do you use them in your practice? So I'll use them when I do Reiki. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'll kind of pull some out, feel what's right, yeah. lay them around, let people hold them. I'll yeah. use them in sound healing. Yeah. Um, I actually store some in my sound healing bowls to kind of keep them balanced. Do you? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then of course you'll cleanse that. things with your sound. You know, you've got to. You have to cleanse. Yeah. And then I keep a bowl under my table. Oh, okay. Um, and it's a salt bowl, yeah. but because that absorbs like negative energy. I have to change it out every so often. But I also put crystals in my salt bowl. Love so, this. Yeah. They're oh, everywhere. Oh, my gosh. They're and everywhere. I've, you know, I've. And kids need them, too. Touch on that if you'd like to. Expand. Give, to your, give your kids crystal medicine. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> yes. I love that you said this. Because kids... <laughs> I'm telling you, they just know energy. They yeah. freaking know. And the amount of times you all have reached out to me and maybe sent me a picture of your kid holding one of the new crystals you got. Um, or, you know, like say, this is my crystal. They're yes. holding it. And they, they love, they just love it for yeah. whatever reason. And they don't know why. <laughs> yeah, but it's the energy. Yeah. It's the energy that comes with it. And kids just have... You know, they come in so pure. They're not messed up yet from society, right? Nobody's turned off their intuition. Yes. Yeah. So they just, they have this innate knowing when it comes to crystals. And what, can you expand on just kids and crystals? Yes. And, and maybe. So obviously my kids have been around them for, yeah. since they yeah. got here. Yeah. Um, but the, you know what you need and kids know what they need. And so that's what's happening. They're, they look at your stash and they're like, um, I need this. Isn't that amazing? And they do need it. Let them have it. They need it. It's so it's, they're not wrong like it's like i already know this like i obviously i know the power of crystals and how they can heal but it's just like it's still fascinating and amazing to me how kids just they have that instant connection and they just they do. know and if they are not the greatest teacher yes you know it's like they they can go to a crystal a bowl full of crystals and pick one out and they're like this is the one i need mm -hmm. what do i tell you all always to do use your intuition mm -hmm. that is a perfect example of someone a human being using their yeah. intuition on what crystal medicine they need for that day for sure is that child just going and picking out this mm -hmm. is the one i need yep you know How beautiful you know. i love this um, night terrors. We've done little bags for night terrors oh, underneath yeah. it. I'll just slip it under the mattress. They don't know it's there. It's helpful. Oh, I love this. Um, I mean, there are lots of things. Even if they're having a hard time at school. Yeah. It can... Show, like, hey, this, this is protection. Like, you can take this with you. This can, you know what I'm, like, yeah. they're, we can give them tools. And if you start them when they're little, they don't have to search for them when they're. Oh, that's big. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's... that's a big thing for me and my kids. I'm like, I want you to have all these things in the house. Oh, now. my God. Yeah, thank Because, God, who are you going to be? You're going to be amazing. Uh, you're like, be you a already badass. got all of this stuff that we had to, like, dig for. Well, right. And, <laughs> and it's like, man, I think about, and, and this is of no discredit to how I was raised because I had a beautiful childhood. Really? But I think back, like, if I would have had these metaphysical tools. Yes. Like, if someone had taught my parents. Yeah. How yes. different it, it may have been. I know that my journey is exactly how it's supposed oh, yeah. to be. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if 
obviously if I had any human children, um, they would be having crystals all over the place. Oh, yeah. So for thank, sure. you, thank you for sharing that. Because <laughs> um, so often I, I think just... Um, just uh, naturally because I don't have kids. I don't always talk about the kids yeah. so much, but I do think it is yeah, so important. They need all the things. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing that. Um, so I want to talk about me time, 11, 11, <laughs> honey. So um, a lot of you all in our crystal community um, already know about me time, 11, 11. Hi. But... <laughs> For those that don't, you are so freaking cute. I, I, I just love you I'm so really much. really awkward. No, I, I don't think it's awkward. I think it's charming and endearing. Okay, I I'm love it. take that. I love it. I like it. Um, I want to talk about what it is. Yeah. So I, I kind of liken it to like a metaphysical gift shop. Mm-hmm. It's like a one-stop shop for expanding anything and everything on your spiritual journey. So you guys offer books, you offer cards, you offer crystals, you offer jewelry, yeah. um, a multitude of other things. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about me time 11, 11 and what it is? Yeah. Um, so it kind of came into fruition during the COVID times when yeah. I couldn't practice yeah. and I still wanted to help people. Yeah. And it's like, how do I do this? How yeah. do I, I can't touch anybody? Like, yeah. how do I do what I'm here to do? Yeah. Um, and that was my thing. You know, I was like yoga, meditation, <laughs> these metaphysical tools, like we can still get where we need to be. Yeah. And so how do I, how do I help people get these things and find what works for them? And yeah. that's kind of where it was. Let me help you fill your toolbox with like how to get where we need to go. I love this. And you think of the name me time because here, we need it. here yet again, she is <laughs> preaching, take some time for beautiful yes. you. And what I love about your shop is that you have so much fun. Oh my God, we're ridiculous. <laughs> in, in the best <laughs> way freaking possible. And um, I have gotten so many magical wares from you guys. I've bought a lot of gifts from you guys yes. too to give to other people. You offer so many things that I've never seen before. And um, it's just, yeah. it's so much fun. We try to switch it up all the time. Yeah, like, you do a good job. Yeah. A good job at that. Um and you do Instagram live sales, yeah. and they are just a freaking it's, blast. It's really fun. And so we'll have all that in the show notes, guys, so you can <laughs> check them out. Um, anything else about me time, 1111? No, come hang out. It's it's another just one of those wide open spaces. Like, come in here, be you, yeah. laugh with us. Half the yes. time we're just laughing. Like, it's the same thing with you all. Like, yeah. It's, it's just a place to hang out. It's literally hanging out with your friends. Yeah, exactly. And then and being able to purchase these magical wares that are going to assist you yes. on, in your everyday spiritual, you know, magical life. And, and it's coming from someone who gets to know. I, I've loved getting to know people. Yes. That's, that's my favorite part of it. I never knew yes. it was coming with this. I knew that it would be exactly cool. And if we, if we succeeded, yes. like, great. But I didn't know that I was going to meet all of these amazing people from everywhere. I'm like, totally. oh, now I need to go to Cali. Now I need to go to Florida because I want to visit this person. Me and too. like, it, who knew that was coming? I, well, and <laughs> like, honestly, what? I can totally relate to that, Monica, because having our mother's crystals, I have made such amazing connections to the humans behind yes. the Instagram yes. accounts, right? And you check in on them, you get to know their family. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I'm totally invested and I'm friends with these people. It's amazing. And um, I've made such beautiful connections to people even all over the world, and it's like is it the best part? Yeah. It's the best it part of, of best having part. this platform and yeah. these businesses. Um, yeah, we get to give back and we get to get people their crystal medicine or their, yes. their, you know, whatever they're wanting. But on the same token, this has been a major expander, I think for both of us and sure. growing a community of like-minded individuals that enrich our lives. Yes. So I think, do we both here, grab my hand. Do we both want to give a shout out to the freaking community right yeah, now? Like, yes. we f- Thank love you for you loving all. us because we love you real hard. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so hard, baby. So hard. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It, it's, it was a surprising bonus. Yes. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, I love what you guys do over there. I love supporting <laughs> the small business and this local business as well. And I definitely encourage you guys to go check Monica out yes. at me time 11, 11. Um, I have some super fun questions. I can't, oh I can't wait to ask you. I ask all my guests these, but I'm not sure I even know all the answers to these for you. Really? What yeah. have we not talked I about? Know, That's what? interesting. So you're going to have to spill the tea here, baby. Okay. 
So what is your sign? And if you know your big three, go ahead and share your big I three. I don't even remember my big three. I'm not, I'm not real. I don't do my chart as much as I should. Okay. I know I'm, well, a bad, well, well, I'm a bad girl. But I love that you're a bad girl. <laughs> So <laughs> we'll we'll look it up. We'll look it up. Yeah, it's I don't have my co-star, but it's on there. Um, yeah. No, I'm definitely a Pisces, and there's nothing about me that's not a Pisces. I okay. So it, it, that's I think that's why I don't even pay attention because I'm like I'm 100 percent Pisces. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Literally, that's all that I can find in here. Like, so it's, it's all in. There. I'm a huge Pisces lover, especially a Pisces sun. Um, I have a lot of Pisces sun women. In my life, my mom, my beautiful mother being one of them. Um, you're yet another one in my life. I love a Pisces sun energy. So you feel like you're Pisces through uh, and through. Yeah, no, it's spot on. Can you talk about that for other people that, well, just one may not know what Pisces is, but two, okay. they might be a Pisces and they're like, yeah, girl, yeah, yeah that me. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm feeling all the things. It's, yes. You're definitely led by like emotions and yes. heartfelt um, you're more apt to give until you're completely empty. <laughs> oh, it's a, yeah. That's a thing. Um, you see two sides of everything. Okay. Which yeah. I think is really amazing. Like, I wish we all had that piece of Pisces. Totally. I think humanity needs that, um, yeah. side of Pisces to, like, there is no literal black and white. There is yes. a gray area. Yes. And, like, it may yeah. feel this way to me, but it probably feels a different way to you. And let's get, yes. let's get, let's figure that out. Yes. That's a very Pisces thing. And I love it. And that's you. That is love so that. you. You are, I would say, the most non-judgmental person I may have ever met. Mission accomplished. And not saying that. I'm <laughs> that's all I want to be. Saying, like, that's... well, you do that. Okay. And um, I'm not saying that anyone else in my life is like non-judgmental because yeah. most of the people I and it's a practice. It doesn't. Yeah, you aren't just born that way. I mean, most of the people I chill with <laughs> and hang with and are part yeah. of my tribe. Um, they're that way, you know, mm -hmm. but I can say that you embody that, like mm -hmm. that is your essence, honey. That's the best compliment ever. Yeah. And that is true Pisces. That's big Pisces energy big Pisces. right there. Yeah. Well, I love your Pisces, um, sun sun, but I am interested to know your moon I'll and your to, rising. I'll send it to you later. Yeah. Send it to me. <laughs> All right. You know, I got to ask this one. What's your favorite crystal? Oh, the hardest question of them all, that right? Is really, really hard. Well, when you're a crystal lover, a crystal collector, or um, just a crystal fanatic, mm -hmm. it's hard to like pinpoint that one crystal. But is there one that just always calls mm -hmm. to you? Or I'm gonna hit you with the ocean jasper, and that's taking me right back to Pisces. But oh my gosh, I didn't know it was OJ. It is OJ. I have an OJ problem. Oh my god, quartz is second because of course the I need master Ruthie and I need sparkle all the time. <laughs> everywhere yes but oj is the first like if i see some, and i'm like i have 48 of those but i need 49 that uh, that's me like, that's me with that amethyst is, this was grown for me and i'm gonna need it <laughs> like that's that's the moment this oh literally my mother earth grew that for me like i so, must i must so bish <laughs> move out moment. the way yes. monica coming in for the oj if all. you see me screaming help that's what i'm saying i'm like mother earth just screw that for me and i need help Please help me. Oh my That's God. what I'm doing on so my couch. So will you all please, <laughs> this is hilarious. Will you all please recognize that Monica needs all the OJs in her life, please? What is it about? I'm coming in hot. What is it about OJ? Ocean Jasper. Okay. The, well, it's always different. Everything is always yes. different. There are so yes. many different color mashups too, or like yeah. some are more feminine, some are more grounding. Some, and it's all OJ. I'm like, how do you do that? Yeah. Mother how Nature is so amazing. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think of all the different colors. Like and... there's a sunshiny vibe to some of them. It's yeah. just. And I just feel like that is you wrapped up in a crystal, <sighs> honey. And then, you know, going amazing. back to the Pisces, yeah. the water and, you know, the fluidity. I'm of, telling you, that's all that's in there. I, I am so like taken back by this i didn't know it was oj oh yeah. my gosh i love that though <laughs> okay do you know your human design by any chance oh you don't know okay what? okay <laughs> Teach right. me something. So i'm get i had a erica from guide to place a human design expert come on when you find out your human design because she's going to tell you about it she's okay. going to tell it's all based on like your birthday, time, yeah. place where you're born. It's, it's, it incorporates like the Zodiac, the, the I Ching, and so many other things. Oh my things. God, so it's a cool little profile. Oh, it goes, it goes deep. I want it. 
Yes. So I'm interested to see what your human design yeah. is. Yeah. I'm, I'm really big into this right now. And it's like... Um, so are there just different like niches? Like it, it goes deeper than that, honey. It's like you will... Your soul will be seen when you know your human design. Yeah. It will change It will change your life. Excited. Yeah. So when okay. we get... We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out I'll after the show. That. And yes, you're... Uh, uh, girl, you're going to go down a rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I um, you don't have to share this because some people do like to keep this sacred to themselves. But do you know your power animal, spirit animal, or totem animals that like to work with you or that you work with on a regular basis? Yeah, definitely elephants are my thing. Oh yeah. my gosh! And I figured first that guest out. that had elephant. What? Yes. Really? Yes. You're That's the... so weird. So uh, tell me, tell me what is elephant energy, elephant spirit animal to you? First, oh, they're just I love the this. ultimate in like calm and like, I feel nurturing. Nurturing. From them. Yeah, totally. Grounding, like yes. all of those vibes. Big and I can definitely chain. say, even as a kid at the zoo, I would cry. When we would go to the elephants. You like, are, it's always been my thing. You had that connection even at that. I'm telling you. And I believe that. Like, our... our it's giving me ch- Like, I still... It, me too. Like, that, don't take me because I'm going to cry. I'm going to ruin your day. Oh when we get gosh. to those elephants, I'm going to ruin it. That's, <laughs> but that's so beautiful, Monica. It, it is. Yeah. And that goes to show that your power animal is with you your entire life. Oh, yeah. And so you, even as a child, had that deep visceral mm. connection yeah. to the elephants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you work with elephant like in sort of like in some meditations I yep. will. Yeah, um, I sometimes wondering. they'll just show up. Right. Um but yeah and I try to like keep things around. You know, like I have some little curtains that have like little tiny design you know you Yeah to honor you bring them. them in. Yeah. Yeah to honor their magic mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Oh my God I love this for you. How beautiful. So I I literally have no doubt just the, how magnetic you are with your energy and how bubbly and effervescent and just gorgeous your energy is, is going to attract people into wanting to partake in what you offer. And then also, um, they're, they're going to want to know about me time and how to connect there too. So how can people actually connect with you for like your sound healing, your massage, and then also with me time, 11, 11. So massage, um, has its own website. It's its own little, um, home space and it's just my name. So it's www.monicacaparelli.com. Yes. Monica Caparelli. I'm sorry. Very Italian. (laughs) We love our Italian babes, honey. You, you all are freaking saucy (laughs) and I feel like I need that in my life. I feel like you bring that to my life. Um, so we'll have that in the show notes, guys, yeah. on her website. The so schedule's there. Services are there. Mm-hmm. Um, my cell number's there if you have questions. Okay. You can holler at me. I'm always around. Um, and then me time is Instagram. So me.time.1111 at Instagram. Okay. And we'll have that in the show notes, yeah. too. So, guys, go check her out. And if you are local or you ever um, travel to the Louisville, yeah. southern Indiana area, please do yourself a favor and go see magical Monica before your trip has ended. Um, also go check out me time 11, 11. If you're wanting a great time, um, just to hang out with friends and look at some magical pieces. Um, and then maybe claim something for your own personal magical life. You will not be sorry. So definitely go check them out there. Monica, is there anything you want to leave us with before we sign off? No, I can't wait to meet some humans. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you so much for for being here, talking about this. I love you too. I think this is such an important topic that is so often overlooked. And I just want to thank you for bringing your energy, your beauty, your your goddess-like essence here today. And I'm just so happy you're a part of my life. I love you. (laughs) So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead, um, like, review it, and make sure you are subscribed and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any more magical material we have coming to you. And I'm going to leave you with what I always leave you with. You are the power And you are the magic. I love you guys so much. And until next time, bye. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of the Crystalline Network. We hope you learned something today. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And follow us on socials like Instagram and Facebook. And reach out with any comments or suggestions you have for future shows. Don't forget to head on over to our shop at OurMother'sCrystals.com for all the unique and quality products you want.